teman-teman, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, in this video, I will be talking about my experience crossing the border between US and Canada. So, after the last video talking about why I moved to Canada, if you haven't watched that, feel free to click the video above. Now it's time for me to show you what the experience of crossing the border looks like. So first, of course, we went by the U-Haul truck. U-Haul is a moving truck company. It costs about $200 to rent for small truck. I think the size is 10 by 10 feet, or if we convert to meters, it will be 3 meters by 3 meters size of the truck. Okay, I'm not the one who drove this car, so don't expect me that I would drive this big car. Even I just got my driver license. <laughs> so based on my research, U-Haul uh, is the only moving truck that allows to travel from US to Canada. And you know I have a bunch of stuff that needs to bring to from kitchen stuff, working stuff like laptop, PC, and of course my makeup stuff. <laughs> so before I cross the border, I prepared a lot of documents that are required. So disclaimer. Don't take the requirements that I mentioned next is absolute or is the same to other people who want to travel to Canada. I just show you a quick idea what documents look like as an immigrant that wants to cross the border from US to Canada. For the document itself, it varies from one to another depending on your condition. So first, what you need is passport and visa. This is basic like when you go out of country, of course, you will need this. Then your permit, of course. It could be work permit or study permit if you plan to study in Canada. Sorry, I cannot show you here, but you can Google it and take a look what the visa or permit looks like. Next, approval letter that your visa is accepted. It has a barcode in it, so you need to bring it to Canada. Also, in some cases, for people that would work in healthcare or hospital, they need to provide the medical examination report. For me, I don't need it since I want to work with a child or work in the hospital. Then you also need to have an item list. So prefer typing instead of writing by hand. It is to claim what stuff you bring to Canada. So I have a list here. You don't have to be so detailed to list every single thing, but still, you have to have a list. Basically, it's almost the same when we go internationally by plane. You are not allowed to bring plants, foods that contain any meats. Uh, for fish, it is exception. You can bring fish, but in certain weight. So to know more, I can put the link in the description below. Or feel free to ask me if you have any questions. For the cooking stuff, you can still bring the spices and even snacks. By the way, snacks that contain fish is still okay. For us that move from the US, they might ask if we bring a gun. I would suggest not to bring any firearm. If you have pets, you need to make sure they have updated vaccination record. So first, we will go through the border between Blaine, Washington, US, and Surrey, BC, Canada. The border has the historical landmark called Peace Arch. It is the point between the communities of Blaine, Washington, and Surrey, British Columbia. And last 
last step, when you pass through the border, the staff will greet you and just show all documents from passport to visa and even if you have permit or additional documents. Don't panic. They will ask you where to live, what will you do in Canada, basic question like when you go out of country and you need to pass the immigration. For me, it is easier to get in as long as you have all necessary documents and follow the rules. That's it about today's video. It is such a short video. Hope you like it and see you in the next video.